Hello friend, welcome to Engineering Attack. In this video, we see the methods used for the analysis of frames. So here are the two methods: that is the portal frame method and the cantilever frame method. In this award video, we see only the assumptions made for the portal frame method and cantilever frame method, and how these assumptions are used in the question. We see from our next video. So for the portal frame method, the two assumptions are made. So first assumption is that point of contraflexure in the all member lies at the mid of the point and the second assumption that the horizontal shear taken by the each interior column is double the horizontal shear taken by the each of the exterior column so how these assumptions are applied while solving the analysis of frame so later we see in our questions so, now moving toward the cantilever method assumptions the point of contraflexure in all the members lies at the mid of the span and the direct stresses in column due to the horizontal force are directly proportional to the distance from the centroidal axis of frame. So how this assumption is used? So this C later in our questions that is while solving we are solving the questions on the portal frame method and cantilever frame method. So these assumptions are used for solving it. If you found this is helpful for you. Please share it and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.